Canada's auto industry is set for a major shakeup. CBC News has learned that Ottawa is about to release new regulations to ensure all new cars sold in Canada are emissions free by 2035. So for more on all of this, we have CBC's Linda Ward joining us here this morning. So uh, Linda, what do people need to know? Yeah, so Marianne, automakers, consumers watching this one very closely. This has implications all across the industry. Senior government sources telling our colleagues in Ottawa that on Tuesday, the government is going to release these long-awaited regulations that all new cars sold in Canada by 2035 must be zero emissions. The source says the aim is to sort of put the pedal to the metal here when it comes to the production of zero emissions vehicles to keep up with other countries like the United States. Several states have got uh, some uh, targets already set of their own. This is going to work on a credit system. So automakers will get credits for how many low and zero emissions vehicles uh, they are uh, making and selling. That's going to be how they're going to prove uh, that they're meeting these targets. The lower the emissions, the more credits they'll get. Uh, and they will get more credits as well if they put in the charging infrastructure needed uh, to keep these cars on the road. Companies can also then buy and sell credits from each other. Let's take a look at the timeline here. This starts with the model year 2026 and they the targets will increase each year up till 2035. 20% of all vehicles sold will have to be zero emissions by 2035 or 2026 rather 60% by 2030 and 100% by 2035. So as I said, consumers watching this very closely, especially watching the price tag of these vehicles, because they are costly. The CAA says that the average price of an electric vehicle in Canada is $83,000. Of course, that's higher than a, a regular new or used vehicle. Last year, the government estimated the cost to consumers here, $23.5 billion, but said that they're actually going to save $34 billion in energy costs. The auto industry, though, criticizing this, saying... It's just too aggressive. We heard from the Canadian Vehicle Manufacturers Association on that. The forthcoming ZEV mandate will leave Canadians out in the cold. Fortunately, there is a better way. We're calling on the government today to help Canadians make the switch to electric with the supports required, not mandate what they can and cannot buy. So they're calling on the government to do more, to make it more accessible for people uh, all across this country. Will that be part of the regulations? We'll have to wait until Tuesday to see. Yeah, that's a big question and consumers will be paying attention too. Thanks so much, Linda.